Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper. Here we're looking at paper one for the A2 math session. We're on question 13 here. So the curve C with the equation of y equals yeah, this thing here, where P and Q are constants, passes through the point three and a half and has two vertical asymptotes with the equation x equals two and x equals minus three. Explain why you can deduce that Q equals four. Well, Q equals four Q equals 4 because there is an asymptote at x equals 2, or you can effectively just say that x does not equal minus 2, so therefore 1 bracket on the denominator must have a root of 2 which leads to q needing to be 4. Okay, so that's the reason that uh, Q is equal to 4, because you want this uh, root, this bracket here, to have a root of 2, and 2x minus 4 will give you that root of x equals 2. And then part B is show that why P is equal to 15, where well, it's probably going to have to be something to do with this coordinate here. So when x equals 3, I'm going to carry on using that Q is equal to 4 here. So it's going to be... Um, y equals p minus 3 times 3 is 9 over uh, 3 times, so 2 times 3 is 6 minus the 4 is 2 times, and then 3 plus 3 is 6. That's going to equal a half. So if I then times the 12 onto the other side, I get p minus 9 equals, uh, times the 12 onto the other side, I get... 6 and then add the 6, add the 9 onto the other side, and I get p equals 15. So it's because of this coordinate 3 and a half here, um, because the graph intersects three one half. Okay, so there we are. That's the answer to part A then. Let's now move on to part B. So figure four shows a sketch of part of the curve C. The region R is shaded by the curve of, um, is shaded by the curve C, the x-axis and the line with equation x equals three. Show that the exact value of the area R is a ln two plus b ln three and a and b are rational constants to be found. So what we first need to find out is this value here, and this value here is likely to be x equals 5, um, because that will be when your um, your y coordinate will equal 0. So it's going to be an integration between 5 and 3 of this expression here, but actually this expression is going to be integrated after we've put these into partial fractions. So this is going to be a partial fraction question first. 15 minus 3x over 2x minus 4, x plus 3 equals a over 2x plus 4, 2x minus 4, sorry, and then plus b over x plus 3. So let's now multiply everything by uh, 2x minus 4x plus 3. So that's going to make it 15 minus 3x. If I multiply by both of those brackets on the left-hand side, it will just cancel out them as denominators. And then on the right-hand side, if I times uh, a over 2x minus 4 by both of these brackets, then the 2x minus 4 will cancel out, and I'll have x plus 3 left over, plus b. And for the same reason, the 2x minus 4 will go here. 
So let's now substitute in some strategic values for x. Let's start substituting x equals minus 3 into this. Now, it does say up here that x can't equal minus 3, but just ignore that because now I'm at this stage here. I've got no fractions left over, um, so I'm allowed to substitute in x equals minus 3. So on the left-hand side, that's going to be 15 minus 3 times minus 3. That will be a plus 9 now, so it will be 24 equals, when I substitute in minus 3 into this bracket, that would just uh, make the whole bracket equal 0, so that term disappears, and then for this term on the end here, 3 times, 2 times minus 3 is minus 6, minus another, um, minus 6, minus another 4, that will make it minus 10, b, so therefore b is equal to um, 24 over 10, or negative, uh, that was simplified to minus 12 over 5. Uh, let's just double check that because it does look like a weird number there. So if I put um, 15 minus 3 times minus 3, that would be plus 9. 15 plus 9 is 24. Good. And then if I put 3 in here, that would make it minus 6 minus 4. Yeah, yeah, that seems right. Okay, and the next one you need to put in strategically is x equals 2. So 15 minus 6 is 9, and that's going to equal 2 plus 3 is 5, uh, so it'll be 5a. When I put 2 into the second bracket, that will just cancel out to be 0, so it's going to be a equals 9 over 5. So we've got some strange uh, values of a and b here. It's not usually this complicated, but uh, the fraction is therefore going to be 9 over 5 bracket 2x minus 4, then minus 12 over x plus 3, uh, and that needs to have a 5 at the front of that as well. So this is what we're now going to be integrating in between 3 to 5. Okay, so let's now move on to the next page where I can have another go at that. So it would be 5 to 3 of, in fact I've already forgotten it, first one's 9 over 5. 9, in fact, I'm going to just times that fifth to the front, so it would make my life easier. Um, 2x minus 4, and then it's going to be minus, what was the second one? 12 over x plus 3 dx. So because both of these had a common factor of a fifth on them, I've just factorized that fifth to the front. So now we need to integrate. So the integration is going to be... 9 over 2 ln 2x minus 4. Uh, this is going to have modular symbols around it. And also, um, it's the ln rule because the bottom nearly differentiates to the top. If you pull out a 9 and put a 2 on the top instead, you get um, you get your bottom differentiating to the top. But you'll need to factorise out that 9 over 4. And the second one is going to be 12 ln x plus 3. And that's going to be in between the boundary of 5 and 3. So we'll leave that fifth at the front still and substitute in 5 and 3. So it's going to be 9 over 2 ln. Uh, 5 substitutes is 8. 8 minus, sorry, no, that's 10, isn't it? 10 minus 4 is 6. And then it's going to be minus 12 ln. Uh, 5 plus 3 is 8. So that's the first bit, and then we have minus 3 substituting in, so that would be 9 over 2 ln um, 6 minus 4 is 2, minus uh, 12 ln uh, 6. Okay, so what I'm now going to do is I'm going to start simplifying some of these bits together. In fact, I'm going to simplify the both ones with 9 over 2 at the front, and they're being subtracted, so that will divide them, so it would be ln 3, and then this is going to be minus 12 and a plus, so it's going to be, um, uh, it's going to be 6 divided by 8, so it would be plus 12 ln 6 over 8, that's not Great. We'll see what we can do with that then. So um, we need to simplify it into this expression here. So it's going to be 1 over 5 times 9 over 2 ln 3. Maybe I need to split this back up again. Maybe it needs to be split up into 12 ln uh, 6 minus 12 ln uh, 
uh, eight. Okay, um, let's just create some more space for me to do this. So it's going to be, um, we can split the six up into a LUN two plus a LUN three. So it's going to be a fifth, um, nine over two LUN three plus 12 LUN two plus 12 LUN three. Okay, so I've split up this into 12 LUN two plus 12 learn three. Uh, and then this one here, if I, that's gonna be a two to the power of three. If I factorize that three out to the front, it'll be minus 36 learn two. Okay, so let's now simplify and divide through by that five to give ourselves a final answer. So on the learn two, it's gonna be 12 minus 36, that'd be minus 24 over five learn two and on the learn three it's going to be nine over two plus twelve so that's going to be twenty four plus nine is thirty three thirty three over ten so thirty three over ten learn three so there we are that's the final answer so a here is representing minus twenty four over five and b is representing thirty three over ten Lovely, there we are, so that's the answer for this question here. So it's a partial fractions um, integration problem here with lots of LUNs involved as well. Lovely, there we are, so that's the answer to question 13. Let's move on to the final one, question 14.